Hi, I'm Anthony Todd. I'm an interior designer here in New York City. And I'm here at the Architectural Digest Home Design Show. Walking through the show, I've been overwhelmed by the creativity, the craftsmanship, the authentic approach to design. It's an amazing show, and I'd love to share with you some great finds that I've enjoyed so far. Walking through the kitchen section, I was quite taken by Jen Eyre. What Jen Eyre are doing is incorporating the appliances into their designs. As the kitchen has absorbed the rest of the main living yeah. space in the home, the importance of how elegantly the appliances will build into your cabinetry totally. has really become much more important. Yeah. And so we're looking for ways to make it seamless and then to take things off of the countertop like the espresso maker. That really creates a much more livable and enjoyable kitchen and everything is sort of tucked away but still on view. So it's a nice mix. I've been a fan of Tucker Robbins for some years actually. It's great to see them at the show. They have beautiful forms, tabourets and stools and sculptures, which they tend to modernize with beautiful colors. Looking at the textiles at the show, there's a lovely Japanese lady, Hiroko Toketa, and she works with a combination of silks, metal fibers, linens, wools, just absolutely intensely beautiful fabrics. It feels so Japanese to me when I look at those seascapes in Japanese gouache work, and mm -hmm. I, this makes me think of that. My inspiration was like, ocean or water. And this one is probably my favorite. Can I, can I take it? <laughs> yes. Can I take it now? <laughs> I'm a big fan of ceramics and came across Isabel Abramson who has just the finest touch of making lattice work, bowls and inverted actually as great lamps and mixes them very well with rustic pieces I think that bring her beautiful work to life. In some ways, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to lighting, but at the show, there has been some very good contemporary lighting. Beck Britton comes to mind, who has these rather elegant sticks that just lean against the wall. Another company would be Workstart and Usher Israelo, who blended the idea of lighting and furniture so well with a beautiful line of leather and hardwood chairs and modernist wall lamps as well. Walking through the show, if there was to be a trend, I think it's the return to authenticity in design. Lots of beautiful creations which really have a thought process, have the idea of timeless sensibility that will be bought and lived with and last for years. And I think that's one of the most important aspects of design today. 